Rock City Network's coming to you from the One Movement Festival in Perth and a very special guest joining me, Tata Young. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. It's a little hot here, but so far so good. Oh, you're looking fine. You have that... You, Hello. You, no, it's that, it's that um, like I was saying before to Hayley Sales, it's like that just about to break sweat, but you've got that nice sort of apple glaze. Well, I, I guess it's the, you know, I'm used to this weather because this is the kind of weather we get in Thailand. But it's a little, um, it's raining at the moment in Thailand, but it's nice to come here with the sun and, you know, and a little heat, so that's yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, now, interesting, I'm so interested about the music scene in Thailand, and I, I guess this is what a lot of One Movement is about, is exposing, exposing mm -hmm. um, um, Asia as a, as, a, as a music giant that it is, that a, lot, a lot of the Western world doesn't really know about. Uh, it's amazing the numbers and the things that you have done. Right, It's right. just incredible. I mean, can, can you explain a bit more about the, uh, you know, the music scene in Thailand and, and, and how, how, it, how it works? Because for a lot of people out there, we don't know. Well, it's pretty much the same yeah, all yeah. around the world. But, you know, in Thailand, we're just, um, it's just starting to, to grow a little more, you know, where people are starting to, there's more bands, you know, than before. It's a lot more pop artists. We're yeah. more into pop artists. But at the moment, there's a lot of bands that are that, that are up and coming. And yeah, so, and, and there's a lot of festivals like this happening in Thailand at the moment also. So that's good. But it's great to be here at the One Movement, you know, Showcase Festival, because, you know, it's just being able to, you know, ha see a lot of people come together and just, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's uh, let's talk about temperature rising. Okay. It's, uh, it's doing quite well. It's doing quite well, right? It's I, my second English album. Yeah. How how are you how are you feeling about it? I'm feeling great, but right now at the moment, I, I just released a new brand new album. It's um, called Ready for Love, and it's got a new single called Ready for Love, and also my Bloody Valentine, which I'm going to be performing tonight also. So that's good. But temperature rising is good. It's the way I feel at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it is extremely hot. The numbers that you've got in your album sales mm -hmm. and, and the people you've worked with and, and the stuff you've done in a, in a ten year in a ten year like it's, that's not a long time for for an artist and musician. How do you keep yourself? You you just very down to earth. You got a Thank great you. vibe. How do, you, how do you how do you how do you keep yourself that grounded when you've done so well? Um. Well, you know, you always have to remember where you came from and your roots. You know, it's it's what my parents have taught me all along, and and you know, it's just. I guess it's just the person that I am, you know. I mean, if if you if you're up there all the time, then it doesn't always work that way, you know. You have to you have to stay grounded and be fun and just be outgoing and like ready to come to shows like this, you know, and meet meet new people. And yeah, and I'm up for that, absolutely. Have you thought about where you're going from here? Because I mean, that, that, what you what you've done is sort of what most people would like to do. do right. Where do you where, where do you start thinking? Do you start reinventing yourself? Do you do you start thinking about? different avenues to go down or is it all well this is probably why I'm in Australia this time because yeah. this time we're gonna actually promote in this region so um, I've promoted my my recent albums in Asia yeah. and so this time we're gonna promote in, uh, in Australia and in in Europe so um, this is why I'm here this time and thanks to one movement for having me here you know although there's a lot of bands and a lot of um, you know folk country artists but for me you know I'm, I'm I, I I can, I can count the pop artists that are here, so I'm one of the uh, one of the odds. <laughs> but it, it's going to be cool for me. I hope everybody enjoys the show. Have, have you run into other musos here that uh, that are playing in bands and stuff? And I haven't w really walked around much because I've been doing interviews all day. Yeah. But it's good to see faces that I've seen in the little booklets to you that they give away, and it's it's quite cool. It's quite cool. But I hope you know after after t uh, the show today, we're going to go to the after party. So maybe we get to see some of the artists and get to talk to some of them and maybe get to write with some of them yeah yeah do you feel any pressure as a pop artist um, talking to other talking to other genres because I guess the cliche is you're a pop artist we don't want to know about you to a degree with other well, with, with bands and, and you know don't take offense to that but you know no, rock no, bands and things like that you know, I, they, I completely understand where you're coming a pop from artist and, and they, do, you, do you feel that sort of pressure or is, is that something you've learned to get yourself around or? not really at all because no. I think the, uh, the moment people get to talk to me they really know that you know I'm not really like the pop artist yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty down to earth and I'm you know I'm very outgoing I like to talk to new people because you know it, it opened doors for me and I, I think you know I mean everybody has their own personality and yeah. their own you know their own thoughts and things about what they want to think about but I'm okay with everybody yeah, yeah? Cool. I can work with anybody yeah cool. <laughs> is there anyone here in particular you want to see have you gone through the little book yeah I did actually I, I want to see Mika yeah but she's performing tomorrow and um, 
and I'm gonna leave tomorrow, so I'm not gonna get to see her. But I've heard of, uh, I've heard a lot about her, and yeah, really, I hope I get to see her, get to talk to her a little bit. <laughs> It'll be good. All right. Well, listen, I promise it'll be a quick interview, and this is about as quick. We'll, we'll make it quick much. so you can get the hell out of here. <laughs> well, but that's the, actually we can talk a little more, but I got three more interviews. Got another three interviews to go, so we'll, we'll, we'll let you go. Thank, Thank you very you. much for Thank giving you. us your time. You, I really appreciate it. Thank you. And if you want any more information, uh, you can go to tatayoung.com. Exactly. And there's a MySpace as well forward slash. Uh, Tata Young, I think it is. You're a big fan. Perfect. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. Rock City Networks, one movement. Love me, love me.